hello guys welcome back to another video today's video we are testing two drugstore primers yes both of them are affordable but i want to see which one performs the best and i promised one of my subscribers that i would do this video for her so here you go the elf power grip and the essence fix and last makeup gripping primer so these are the two that we'll be trying out today so if you want to see how I got this look, the products I used, which primer is better, then keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another video. You all know I like to jump right into it. Today, we're going to be testing two drugstore primers. Very, very affordable. And the first one, I'm just going to start off. Let me say, I'm going to put my Elf Cookies and Dream because y'all know I'm going to use this regardless of what other primer I use. I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to keep it true to how my routine is. And then we'll, we'll already know how one primer operates. Just trying to figure out how the new one operates. I'm sorry, this microphone. Okay, let's rub it down. This Elf Cookies and Dreams just fills in my pores really nicely without clogging them or causing me to break out or anything. So that's why I enjoy this one so much. So we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison to see. Okay, the first one you all have seen me, this is what I use all the time, every day, all day. It's the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. And as you can see, I'm almost out. But anyway, so this one is $10 at Ulta. And it actually, I, I don't know what made me look at the stars on it, but it has four and a half stars. So this just says that it's a gel formula, grips makeup for a long lasting all day wear, moisturizes, preps, and gives skin a soft focus effect. Goes on clear with a translucent finish for all skin types. So yeah, y'all seen me use this. Y'all know I love it. It's $10. I'm going to do this side with the elf. And y'all know I just pumped it on the back of my hand. Let's just do this side, this nose side, this forehead side. <laughs> I'm looking in the mirror right here too, so I'm trying to stay in focus. And you kind of like just push it in and make sure your skin is sucking it up. Now, the next one will be the Essence. Fix and Last Jelly Primer. Y'all saw this on my haul, my last Ulta haul. So let's see. This is new. I know I brought it at Ulta. I'm not sure what other stores maybe sell it, but I purchased it from Ulta. So this one only has two reviews. Like I said, it's relatively new. It was only $5.99, so a fraction of the cost of the e.l.f. primer. This one basically says the same thing. A moisturizing jelly formula grips makeup for a long-lasting makeup wear. Uh, applies translucent and melts into skin. Can be worn alone for a smooth, fresh-looking skin. Cruelty-free. So this basically says the same thing as the Elf. That does it perform the same way as the Elf is what we're going to see. $5.99 for 0.98 fluid ounces. Show you the bottle one more time. Now let's get the pump and let's see the consistency. And then pump out. It smells like hair gel. Where the e.l.f. has no scent, this one kind of smells like a hair gel. And it's not as thick as the e.l.f. This one is kind of not really watery, but it's not as thick as the e.l.f. Let's see. It 
it feels like hair gel. <laughs> Even though I, I never applied hair gel to my face. It, it smells like that, you know that LA Girl Spike Gel? I think it's LA Girl, it's something gel, some spike gel for your hair. That's what it smells like. Uh, yeah, it's not as thick. Let me get it in my lace. It's not as thick as the e.l.f. Where the e.l.f. side has dried, this one is still kind of wet. So, yeah, um, we'll see. I'm gonna put my MAC paint pot in laying low. Y'all know the routine. As of lately, y'all know I've been loving to use my classic tan, L'Oreal Infallible Pressed Powder to set the smile lines. Also, I told you all I got this tip from LJ here on YouTube, so that's what I've been doing lately, and I've absolutely been loving it. I'm gonna just push it in where my smile lines are. Okay. Let's see if it's dry yet. It just feels like skin, to be honest. The e.l.f., I mean, I don't tell the difference of feel or anything on my face. To keep it drugstore, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation in 515. We'll use this today just to keep it drugstore. Set my phone over here now. I already know how the elf side is going to work. I never have a problem with that. That's my perfect combination right there. The elf cookies and dream and the elf gripping primer, power grip primer. I know y'all get sick of seeing that in my description box. So I always try to list my products, but yeah, I love that. Now, the essence side. Just applying foundation, you don't notice a difference. This is gonna to have to be aware to see if the foundation moves or separates because just applying it, I don't see a difference. I'm gonna take my damp sponge. I'll take my damp sponge and uh, blend this out. So you can see how my face is looking. Not really a difference. Of course, this is a translucent powder, so you won't see a whole lot. I'm gonna do the remainder of my face because y'all saw me do concealer and bronzer and all of that, and I'll come right back. Hi guys, we are back. This is the completed look after applying my concealer, bronzer, all that good stuff. I just did my normal routine, what I normally do. Right now, I don't feel any difference. <laughs> this is all gonna depend on the wear. This is a work day for me, so I'm gonna wear this during my work day, then I'll come back and then show you all to see if maybe you can see a difference. I don't blot throughout the day. Well, I don't have to blot with my e.l.f. Cookies and Dream and the e.l.f. Power Grip. When I use those two, I never have to blot. So we'll just see how this goes. But right now, I mean, I don't feel any difference on my skin. All I can really tell you is that Essence is a lot more watery than the Power Grip. The Power Grip is really thick and like really pasty but we'll see how it performs uh it is early in the morning it's only 7 30 
and I don't have much light. Hold on, because I'm still in front of the window. So not much light without me, you know, turning off the other lights. Let me see. So I just switched them. They're facing the wall, so they're not facing me. So if you can see, this is how my face is looking. Same old, same old. It looks the same to me. So we're just gonna see how this wears. I mean, like, not a bit something in front of the camera. <laughs> you too close. So I'll see you all in a little bit. Bye, guys. Okay, guys, I am back. It is now 5.02. So let's just say 10 hours worth of wear. This is how my face is looking no blotting or anything today and i feel like this side just looking at it this side which is the elf side is a little bit more matte than this side this side has some glow to it i don't know but just look in the lights let's use the brush from today to see i just feel like the essence side is a little bit more it's a little bit, I have a little bit more radiance in my face than I do on the L side, but let's just spin it together or blot, I should say. Let's see how it looks. So not bad, nothing to complain about. But y'all should know, if you know me, then you know that I'm going to prefer the e.l.f. The Essence is okay. Once I finish the e.l.f., then I'll use the Essence just so I can use it. But then I'll go back to my e.l.f. I just prefer the e.l.f. No, nothing is wrong with the Essence at all. If you have tried either of these primers and you like them or you don't like them, drop down and let me know. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. It's the end of the day. Bye, guys.